And we're racing, ladies and gentlemen, the three-hour HQ race for the zero-one car of David Wood and Mark Craig for Impact Automotives leads a huge field of 52 HQ homes. They stretch from one end of the main straight to the other, dust down at uh, the entrance to the turn, but it looks like all through David Five, Wood. Uh, Aussie New House is uh, the car that's in uh, third spot. The, uh, in fact, the leaders start to uh, stretch out just a little bit. Could it Fitzgerald would be a, a good one to... Uh, to uh, partner you uh, in a race like this because he's yes. had a lot of long distance racing experience uh, not only at Sandown Bathurst and uh, also the long distance race at Winton for uh, production cars. The two car comes in, the 21 car, 67, they're piling in. Let's go to Cole Russell again. Okay, well it appears that most of the cars that are coming in are a routine pit stop and uh, the fueling is, as I thought it would be, a very, very large problem. They can only jiggle siphon the fuel in. He's got it. Oh, there's some goings on further back. Oh, Robin one car very sideways into... Oh, uh, Robin Kite. It's gone. It's served. gone. That's the big and one. He's copped it. Oh, and around goes. Now, 32 car definitely in there, Colt. Uh, not in there. It's, it's no. been and gone. Yeah. So uh, I can't believe that one. I don't know what the deal was there, but they came in and they were out. They took on no fuel, I would say. Do we see an exciting little race plan being divulged here, gentlemen? I'd like to take this opportunity also, Ian, to uh, thank the HQRA for all the work that they have put into this event uh, this weekend, in particular Les Morel. Here we they, go. They haven't formed up, and that lap car is going to stay right where he is. And I tell you what, it, it might. they haven't got the green flag yet, but Saliba has gone. It might actually help the 73 car. He had got a little bit of a slingshot out. He's pulled out. They're heading down towards the end of the main straight again. The Fletcher Everett car is making up a lot of ground on Saliba as they go down into turn one at Drink Drive Corner. Right on his tail. Give it half a car length or even less. The Fletcher Everett car right on his tail now. I'd give it about a minute and a half to go in this race, so they'll probably complete... One and a half laps. One and a half laps up through the chicane for probably the second last time. Second place car right on the heels of our race leader. He's pushing him through the second chicane. How close is this for three hours of racing, ladies and gentlemen? Saliba, oh, the flexor run. Here. Watch them under brakes as they go down the back straight into the motorcraft oh. horses side by side for the second last time we predict. The Fletcher Everett car on the outside, Whoops. and that is the oh, wrong way to go around right there. The white flag's going to come out. The white flag is going to come out. Saliba in the lead around Goodyear Corner for the second last time. There's still a very good field of HQ Holdens left in this race. More than half the field, but it's our race leaders taking the white flag. Saliba from Everett. He certainly is making up a lot of distance. Nose to tail as they head down into turn one drink drive corner. Slipstring him, looking for an inside running, looking for the outside running. Can he get around? Follows him around turn one, drink drive corner. Absolutely pushing him. Takes the inside running. Heading towards the chicane for the last time. They're side by side. Everett gets an inside running on the right hander. But can he get through? Yep. He's got through. He's got ahead of Saliba. And they open it up by about two or three car lengths. Heading into the second chicane for the last time and up the back straight. Look at him pull away. Four car lengths now. He's got it. He's heading up towards the Motorcraft Essence for the last time. Can he keep oh. up this pace? Another car comes into contention. He's uh, looking for probably second spot, but not going to get it. The Fletcher Everett car is uh, doing extremely well around the Goodyear corner, heading down towards the checkered flag this time. Saliba's done so well right throughout the day. Can he get second? He goes wide coming out of Goodyear, and the checkered flag is up. It's the... The Fletcher car, the 73 car, oh, hey! down under wreckers by about two or three car lengths. Congratulations to the down under wreckers 73 car, driven by Leon Fletcher and Glen Everett. Well, what a result after three hours of racing. Who would have believed it? Uh, second place goes to Alex Saliba, and as far as we uh, understand, third place will go to car 49, the Philip Smith and Marshall Brewer. Congratulations to the Everett and Fletcher too. Hey, we didn't even find out who was driving the last stretch.
Yeah, well, I'm Glenn. <laughs> okay, Glenn. Uh, look, a magnificent race. Uh, obviously a heady race. Tell me, how much brakes have you got left, really? Nothing. <laughs> Just enough to stop if I'm not going too fast. Okay, well, uh, it didn't worry in the last lot. In fact, that's probably the reason that you got through so easily. Yeah, well, I think a lot of other people probably had the same trouble. And uh, I didn't really know where I was through most of the race so I was, until the pace car came out. So it was just a matter of, uh, as soon as I knew that, just get out there and go for it. But I had to do a little bit harder. I ended up getting through and won the race. So. Okay, thanks, Glenn. Well, uh, we've got the presentations here now. And uh, handing over the presentations, uh, Les, isn't it? Uh, uh, will do the job for us. Congratulations, Leon and uh, Glenn. Fantastic. Leon first. Thank you. The inaugural three-hour HQ Classic Champions trophy. Well done, boys. Leon? Look, thank Les first for making this all happen and Calder Park and a few spots and so on. It's just fantastic and I hope everybody had a good time. If I can just say a quick thank you um, to Les because really he has put in all the work uh, here. Calder Park Motorsport has just been the place where it's happened and we've helped him along the, along the way. So. I think we should have a big round of applause to Les Morell and the HQRA Association. Thank you, Les. Thanks a lot to uh, Carl Russell, Steve Benson, all the uh, guys down there. Gerald, how would you like it if you were Leon or Glenn and go down in the history books as the world first ever world champions of an HQ race here at Calder Park? The three-hour the three the three fantastic. What a, what a great race and right down to the wire. And, uh, and Glenn, without any... Uh, Breaks right at the end of the uh, right at the end of the stint. Tom will be back next year. This was fantastic.